if you want what I have, <laughs> you better know who I know. What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Sermon at 7, your daily dose of inspiration and the place where we prove beyond the shadow of a doubt that it's possible to receive a mighty word from God in a short period of time. I'm your host, Pastor Tim. <laughs> Listen, I have seen so many people both inside and outside the house of God who are jealous when they see certain people exhibiting certain gifts that have come from God. Jealousy has no place amongst the people of God. But sometimes you have to figure that only God can give you what you have. Now, I want to talk a little bit more about that in a second. But before I do, let me take a moment to invite you guys to become a part of my channel. Hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and help me build this thing here on the internet. Now, let's go to the Word of God, which is coming from the book of Acts, chapter number 8. Let's go there now. And the Word of God says this, And when Simon saw that through the laying on of the apostles' hands, the Holy Spirit was given, he offered them money, saying, Give me this power also, that anyone on whom I lay my hands may receive the Holy Spirit. But Peter said to him, Your money perish with you, because you thought that the gift of God could be purchased with money. You have neither part nor portion in this matter, for your heart is not right in the sight of God. That came from Acts chapter number 8, verses 18 to 21. Now let's get into what's going on right here. The apostles are busy spreading the gospel message, going from city to city. And as they're doing this, people are coming to Christ. Now in this particular instance, people are not just coming to Christ, but they're also burning their scrolls and their spells, things that they've paid money for in the past because they believe that I can buy a spell and curse this person that I don't like. <laughs> it's an ancient world, but I still see some of that going on in the world that we live in today. That's a whole other conversation. So all these people are coming to Christ. And one of them called Simon the Sorcerer, the Bible says that he also had given his life to the Lord as well. But then something interesting happened. The apostles were laying hands on people. And as they were laying hands on people, they were receiving the Holy Spirit. Now, Simon, who used to be a sorcerer in his former way of life, he probably sold spells to people, saw what they were doing, and he figured, you know what? I'd like to do that as well. So he offered them some money for that power. And now in lies the problem. You think that by offering money to us, you can get what God has given us freely. You all don't hear what I'm saying. Let me tell you something. There is still this idea in some circles in the church that money is the be all and end all to every solution. If I just give enough money, God can bless me in a certain way. If I just give enough money, I can have a certain status within uh, the house of God or amongst the people of God. That mindset is still going on. Simon didn't understand. God is not like us. He's not moved when you offer money. Now I know that there are a lot of people in church who talk a lot about money on today, but that's not God's thing. But I will tell you something. When you invent a God, the God that you invent will be a lot like you. <laughs> Let me give you an example of what I'm talking about. When you're all caught up in money and you invent a God, guess what? The God that you invent will also be concerned about money. Sound familiar? We know what people are actually worshiping, and it's not God most high. It's something that's come from their own imagination and their own priorities. But that's not who the Lord is. Simon found out the hard way. The things of God are purchased with money. It is a decision that comes primarily from the spirit to determine what gift that you get. And while I'm on the subject of gifts, let me just say this. Whatever gift you receive from God, there's no need to be jealous about the gift that someone else received. If God wanted you to have a particular gift, he would have given it to you. Don't spend your time wanting to be like somebody else. Don't spend your time wanting to do what someone else does. The scriptures are clear. We are part of a body. And as Paul said, if the whole body were an ear, where would the seeing be? 
or if the whole body were an eye, where would the smelling be? You should be happy with what God has given you and you should be taking the time to figure out, number one, how can I, how can I glorify God with what he's given me? But number two, how can I also help to contribute the building of his kingdom down here on earth with what the Lord has given me? Simon the sorcerer and so many people had it twisted. This thing is not about money. I don't care how much money you give, you do not put yourself in a special place in the house of God. And certainly the things of God don't come just because you put a certain amount of money on the table. Get to know this God that you serve, understand who he is and figure out how he has uniquely gifted you so that you can be the blessing to the body of Christ that you were intended to be. Amen goes right there. Listen, everybody, I'm all out of time for this particular video, so you already know what I want you to do. As I said when I started, hit that like button, hit that subscribe, and the notification so that you'll be notified when I load up another video. Also, before you leave, take a moment to check out some of my other videos and the shorts that I have on this channel. I talk about a lot of things, and I know that there's something there that will also be a blessing to your soul. Now go ahead and have yourselves a wonderful day and I'll talk to you real soon. God bless you.